I love this name, makeup lover. I don't care these married men that want to take their wives' lives don't just get divorced. Oh, I'm sorry, makeup lover. I don't know why. I'm, I'm not a good uh, text abbreviation reader. Uh, it's sad that the first thing they want to do is take them out. Yeah, makeup lover. Isn't that sad that uh, people see murder as a way to solve your problems? Uh, Fuzzy Doxy, not if the sales tank was so sealed that it preserved her body. Dogs wouldn't be able to smell anything. Kenzie Cush, I always from day one didn't think D would leave her kids. Well, she didn't. In fact, she was she was murdered, as we know right now. Sherry Murray, him thinking I'm going to get away with murder. Dumbass. Yes. Emily Parkinson. Emily, good to see you. At one point, he wouldn't let them take the dogs into the barn because he just spread fertilizer that would kill the dogs. My God. Prying Paula from the chat. So do we think he put her in that tank back when he killed her? Wouldn't he have had to cut it open and weld it, and then wouldn't they have noticed the welded tank at that time? Was she moved recently? Prying Paula, I have no answers to those questions yet, and I don't think the police know yet. I would think that she was probably killed back in April of uh, uh, 2021, April 25th. She dis that's when she disappeared. So he probably killed her, probably in the house, and he, under the cover of darkness, moved her body to that truck. And the, at the time, it was probably a tank that he could open very easily, just dumped it in there and kept the trunk, truck out of sight, and then welded it shut and repainted it. And so uh, I, that's, I'm guessing, I don't know. Let me play this. This is also an up-to-date report from the news. In the case of Dee Warner, that's the Lenaway County woman who went missing in April of 2021. In new this morning, August 18th, authorities say they have found her body. They recovered it from a tank that was pulled off a farm owned by her husband, Dale Warner. So here's what we know so far. Dee Warner was reported missing in April of 2021. And according to her friends, the last person to see her alive was her husband, Dale Warner. In October 2021, federal agencies were called in to assist with the search for Dee Warner, but nothing turned up. Nearly one year after her disappearance, in March 2022, police issued new search warrants and her family offered up $50,000 for anyone who had information leading to finding D. In September of 2022, her family petitioned the courts to have D declared legally dead. Now, they did that so they could take control of her assets and to file a wrongful death lawsuit against her husband, Dale Warner. In September of 2023, Dale Warner was found to be in contempt of court. That's because he was selling her assets, even though the courts instructed him not to do so. And he to, to me, that's amazing. Like mm -hmm. you're told by the court, do not sell any of the assets, either assets that you own jointly or assets that belong to her. And he does it anyway. Like that's a, to me an advanced rocketeer, an advanced rocket scientist that he's going to disregard the judge's order and try and, and he tried to sell the trucking company or he did sell it and i'm sure that they would the court would just undo the sale uh because there was a court order that he could not sell it let me go back to the even through that he maintained his innocence just two months later in november of 2023 dale warner was arrested and charged with her murder and for tampering with evidence but again at that point there was no trace of d in march 2024 this past march D's family finally got what they wanted. They got D declared dead, and they were able to move forward with filing a wrongful death lawsuit against Dale Warner, who again was is in jail as of November 2023. Everything has been pretty quiet since then. That is until this past Friday, August 16th, when additional search warrants were executed on two properties owned by Dale Warner. On one of those properties, Authorities found a tank. They moved it off the property, and that's where they say D. Warner's body has been found. Now, the, we're still waiting on results from an autopsy, which is expected to be completed on Tuesday, but we will keep you updated online as we learn more. So that was pretty well uh, pretty well explained. Well, uh, yeah. You know, that, that, that was pretty damn good. Um, but to me, like, here's this guy, uh, the husband, Dale Warner, ordered by the court not to... And he does it anyway. Like, what? what is he thinking? What is he, you know? And the other thing was the family wanted her declared dead, and I wouldn't have thought of this because they want to sue him for wrongful death. 
because mm-hmm. this was also before they recovered what they believe to be her remains right now, Mike. Yeah, he's not the ro- biggest rocket scientist there is. Um, you're told by a judge, and a judge is, uh, you know, they're God in their courtroom. And they say, you will not dissipate the resources. You will not do this. Uh, you have to do, you have to listen to them because if you don't, that you can be arrested for contempt of court. And he was arrested for contempt of court. Um, you know, I guess he just figured he would do it by the time the family found out about it and they went back to court to be months and months later. Uh, he's probably really hard up for money. He's facing a homicide charge. You know, they slap, they want to slap him and he knows it and his attorney know it. They want to slap him with a wrongful death lawsuit. That's why he's telling everybody, oh, she's still alive. And, you know, this is, uh, don't worry about it. Um, yeah, he's, he's, he just took, he just made a hard situation 10 times tougher for him because now you've got a judge that, you know, has him locked up for contempt. You know, he just makes, he just takes a bad situation and makes it 10 times worse. Not Well, the Mike, before all of these recent, uh, these new activities, these new uh, things we found out, the body recovering all that, they were considering giving him bond. I mean, he can kiss the bond goodbye right now. Yeah, you know? that's, that's over. That's not going to happen. Carol Grayston, thank you so much. She gifted five police off the cuff memberships. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. Uh, little old lady land. Was it premeditated? I believe so. I think that um, you could say it could have been a um, a passion murder. He found out that she wanted to leave him. He found out she was having an affair and she was the breadwinner. So that could be all good. He could, but I, I don't know all the answers to that right now. Uh, Missy Violet, Dale must have killed his own consensus. No remorse. Uh, makeup lover. The kids I believe are old. They're, they're grown children. They're, yes. they're not young kids. I, I believe. I know she has a total of five kids. They must have been from a previous marriage. I think she has one daughter, perhaps, from Dale. Uh, and she may be younger. She may be like nine or ten years old, but I'm not positive. But I think the other kids are from a previous marriage, and um, they are uh, they are grown kids. Miss Betsy, I'm just so glad Dee has been found and brought home for a proper burial and her kids and friends can say goodbye. Miss Betsy, that's always a concern. You're 100% right. 